What are you doing? I'm taking photos for Instagram. I want some nice photos. Looks nice, right? Mm -hmm. Nice. Welcome back to a new video. As I said in the last video, you can watch it here if you want to. The boys are this week in holidays, it means no school. And uh, with Anya, we had the great idea to go on a small getaway, not too far from Ljubljana. It's our happy place lately, and it's uh, Krajinska Gora. We are now waiting for Gaia to wake up from her nap, and then we are gonna go on a small world trip here in the mountains to see the beautiful sceneries and hopefully get some height so that we can get a clear view above the cities and uh, just have a fun day as a family. Let's go! Change the car. Now we got this one. It's nice, but uh, we we like the place in the in the in the trunk when we go somewhere like this. But we manage. <laughs> there is a question we get asked a lot by family members, by friends, or even on social media. Where do you plan to live? <laughs> where do you plan Gaya, to live? Gaya, Gaya doesn't allow me to speak. So the question is, where do you plan to live once Igor is uh, finished with handball, once his career is over? Which country, which city do we plan to move and, and build our home? That's the question we get really a lot lately. And, honestly, and that's a question that's not easy to answer. Yeah, and we also think about that a lot. That's a question hard to answer, but we might have a clue. Why is it so hard to answer the question where we want to live once uh, Igor finish his sports career? What would you say? Why it's so hard? Anja from Slovenia, I lived in France, I'm originally from Bosnia. This gives us immediately three countries to live, yes. to choose from. Three opportunities for us. Uh, you have family in different country and I have family in different country. Yours is in France and in Mostar and your brother is in Luxembourg. Yes. Um, I have a family in Slovenia. That's why it's so hard to decide where our home is gonna be. Then the second thing that it's really, really important for us is family. Kids, education and if they are gonna play sports like you, where is the best uh, country for them to train and play sports and I think that third reason is also the quality of life yes. you know because we like to travel a lot and we like uh, to have a business after your career so it's also important yes, it's that it's transitional yes, country <laughs> We finally made a stop uh, because we need a break. It's slowly getting hungry, everybody. <laughs> when we are over with our lunch, we're gonna head back home 
to the hotel because it's starting to get dark. When we get back in the hotel, we're gonna continue our story about how and why is it hard for us to decide where to live after I end my handball career. So yesterday the day went by really fast. When we uh, came back at the hotel, we went quickly to the swimming pool because we promised to the kids. We went to, for dinner and Anya fell asleep at nine with the kids. That's how so tired. tired. Yes, that's how tired she was. I was really so tired. So that's why we're gonna continue a story or conversation. A conversation today. So we said three things. First thing is Igor's parents live in south of France. Uh, Igor's brother is living in Lux Luxembourg. Uh, my family is living in Slovenia. Slovenia. Your other part of family is living in Mosta. It, it's not easy. It's not easy to. To, to pick to one country, yes. Yeah, yeah, one country or city where to live. There is the second point that it's so important for us and influence our decision where we want to have our home is also good quality life, family life, good quality for our family, good school system, but also safety, you know. We want that our kids can go out and we don't have to worry. It's important that we feel safe and that we are not if they play Scared, outside, outside yes, on the playground. Yeah, so this is what we it. mean with a good yes. quality life yes. for our family. But also a <laughs> yeah, really, really important point to about our decision where we want to live is we both want to have businesses that we can work from home or from wherever we are. But if we need to travel, it's good that the country is transitional that, country. Yes, that's something that I call a nomad life or no, digital nomad life. That's, that means that uh, I want to have a business that we can move around, that we can uh, one day be here, tomorrow in, your, in another country, that we, we just need our computer, iPad for me and uh, an internet connection and we are able to continue this business. But that doesn't mean that we will be all year long on the, on the move, uh, it just means that we will if pick, we want, we can. If go. we want, we can. Yeah. But we will be uh, in one country, living, the station. station there. The kids are gonna go to school there, practice their sports if they want to. But if it's uh, I don't know holidays or if uh, we or just business or trip. business trip, we are able to jump on a flight and go do this uh, business uh, opportunity. And that's also why it's important for us that the, the country we will pick it's kind of a transitory country what what you want to say is also that we are for example if we choose slovenia in in one hour you can be in austria you can be in one hour in italy in croatia and you can also access all the biggest airports in europe pretty quickly yes. from here so that's one good point for slovenia and and something that is important uh, when we are speaking about two important things in our life, traveling and business. Slovenia is getting more and more good points. Let's yeah, say. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be totally honest and I'm going to say that now when we are in Ljubljana this month, we got a good impression. Uh, we got a preview of uh, how could our life look like. We could say that Slovenia had a good points. Our family is there, my family is there and it became also your family of now course. and your other part of family who is in Mostar is also not so far away. Yes. We have to say that Slovenia is perfect country for families. Uh, it's but safe the country, country. Uh, as a country is a beautiful country. It's safe. There is so much to see. You are, yeah, 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 you, are, you are such a small country but so much pretty things to see. Yeah, and, we can uh, go every weekend we can go to other parts of Slovenia and we always have fun with Also for you, like a video maker or like a, like a, all the things that you like to do? We'll see, that's also another part or an, another topic for another video. But if we go just back to the, 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 the answering the question, we already revealed that somehow we liked Slovenia, the idea of living in Slovenia, and there is really a lot of good points. For now, we like it here, but for now we're also moving to Japan. And that's, uh, we don't know how long we're gonna stay there. Maybe we're gonna stay there five years, maybe less. And that's also something that's gonna dictate our decision. And like we spoke, uh, our businesses, what we're gonna do and things like this. But if today we had to choose, if somebody comes and put me a gun on my head and said, choose now, I would say Slovenia. Yeah, but I also like idea of living in the United States. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the conclusion would be that today we pretty much like the idea of living in Slovenia, in Ljubljana. But 
we are first moving to Japan and we are gonna see how things are gonna enroll how do you say roll enroll roll out roll out in Japan but yeah why not United States maybe one day for a year or two or five oh, Australia <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Igor is joking with me because I have a, I don't know why, but a big love for Australia. I was never there, but I, I just like it. I think it's I, perfect I, mixture. I saw, I saw too much videos on YouTube about the deadliest, uh, deadliest spiders. animals, uh, <laughs> spiders, snakes, uh, deadliest animals in the in the planet. They're all living in Australia. So yeah, let's forget my, about my, Australia. My head is telling me don't go there. In the end, it's just important that we are together. Yes. And that we have fun, and that we don't fight too much, and that we, that kids are happy. That's the most important in the end. Even if we end up, I don't know, in Afghanistan. But uh, I think that I like to say, I like to think that we, as a family, we can adapt to anything, even if uh, we we cannot lie. It's not always easy, and especially, for example, now. Uh, you know, being homeless in a kind, in a, in a sort no, of way. Living nomadic life. Yes. yes. It's not always, every day is not easy, there is ups and downs, but we can adapt to anything. I guess. We can, we, tomorrow we, we we'll, proved it. Yes, today we are here, tomorrow maybe we'll be moving to Japan, being in quarantine 14 days in a hotel, and then two, three years later we will be somewhere else. Yeah. Who knows, but I think we can adapt to anything. Let's enjoy a few more years of this uh, nomadic life, and then we're gonna settle somewhere. I guess that's it for this video. I hope you liked it, that we share a little bit more of our personal, uh, personal life, personal uh, thinkings and... Uh, Insights. Yeah, what we discuss on a day, almost daily basis. If you like it, tell us in the comments. Yeah, but maybe also just people can also comment about if they want to, to hear more about our personal thinking, insights in our family, like we did in this video, for mm -hmm. example, or they want to see just more vlogging style like you do it normally and just, just show yes. the places and just tell us random. tell us in the comments uh, for for the, the the brave ones that are watching this long video what uh, what do you think what do you uh, would like to see us talk about or do or show you comment like and please subscribe to the channel it makes us proud it makes me happy <laughs> bye